Hiya, today I'm going to take you through a brief setup of my writing, where I'm up to with a project at the moment, and what I do if I'm stuck on a character or where to go next for a plot point. Okay, so um, I use tarot sometimes to help me when I'm a bit stuck and I shuffle the cards and this is a bad example of shuffling. Here you can also see the wooden box uh, that my laptop sits on um, when I work with the uh, keyboard. I do this because it's better for your eyes and it's better for your posture. You don't with your neck and stuff. And you, it's just when you sit when you sat at a laptop for long periods, it's not good to be hunched over a laptop. So sitting as straight as you can really helps. So here I've pulled uh, the Eight of Swords in reverse for past and I've pulled the Sun for present and I've pulled the Ten of Cups, I think it is. Yeah, the Ten of Cups uh, for the future. This is an example really. It's a nice spread to get, quite positive. Um, I'm going to write about it in here shortly. I'll, so, for the uh, Eight of Swords, I've written bound, unknowingly tied to something you, when you didn't even realise. Um, you stayed because of pain or trauma in the past. It's more comfortable to stay restricted than to feel free. Um, the decision's almost made for you in those situations. So I would use this as a character arc, or I could use it as a plot point, or both really, because kind of one of the same, similar ideas. If I was stuck for where a character should go, or even where a character might come from, this might give me some backstory or some hints as to what I could include in that backstory. Um, this, this arc here, past, present, future, is, is a very happy ending. I'll go into that in more detail in a moment. Um, the sun... I've written, but now light shines down upon you. The horse represents freedom, just as it did with Leonora. And I'm referencing Leonora Carrington there. Uh, she used horses a lot in her paintings. And I'm a big fan of hers. 
Uh, the child represents starting again, uh, abundance, new beginnings, um, love and light. And then for the future card, which is the Ten of Cups, as you can probably see, it's a very happy card. Lots of good things going on. Um, it's overcoming trauma of the past to create abundance and love in the future. You just have to see it's possible. Do the work to get there. A happy home. Let me know if you have any questions about this. And um, thanks for watching.